So what do you do when you load it up, you get it to your portable operating destination, you realize the adjustable coil you brought with you has an M10-1 and you brought a 3 8 by 24 to the fight. Today's video is sponsored by G Gable Radio. Follow their link in the description below and you'll find some of my favorite amateur radio portable antennas and gear. And that's exactly the problem I was trying to solve when we did this video on all of the adapters. The reason why we needed to look at all of those adapters is because we have gear that comes out of China in coarse threads M1015. We have gear that comes out of Taiwan from Gable Radio M101. And then we have gear here in the States that is 3 8 by 24. You can't mix the stuff unless you have adapters. So Gable Radio has made a series of adapters that allow us to get all of this gear and interconnect it so that we can maximize everything that we have in our bags, our kits, our shacks. There was only one challenge with this, and I let Gable Radio know after I completed this video, and oh, by the way, I'll link that video in the description below with links to all of these adapters. But I let Gable Radio know that we were missing one thing that was really important to me. I didn't have an M10-1 to 3 8 by 24. So for those of you who are familiar with the Gable coils, and the Gable coils are really awesome pieces of gear, they're small, low profile. This is probably one of the original ones. It has the label on here instead of the black anodized. This is a prototype. It has a, fi a carbon fiber shell, but here is the anodized with uh, gradation on it, so you can kind of get an idea for repeatability. But these all have M10-1 on top of them. I don't have an adapter that goes M10-1 to 3 8 by 24. Gable Radio said, no problem, got you covered. And now today, we have M10-1 3 8 by 24. So I do want you to be careful about using this because M10-1 and 3 8 by 24 is really, really, really close. In other words, I can take my 3 8 by 24 and I can put this adapter on in both directions. That's because M10-1 3H by 24 is that close. But if you take this adapter and you first put it on the M10-1, one way is gonna work and the other way isn't. I don't know what I have, let's see. That's 3H by 24, that's M10-1. So those of you who are Gable Radio fans, you love their small coil antennas they're adjustable coils that you can put an antenna whip on. Now you have an adapter to allow you to use all of your 3 8 by 24 whips here in the States or wherever you reside using 3 8 by 24. I have put 17 foot whips on top of this with a really, really, really expensive adapter from McMaster Car. Now we have a reasonably priced adapter available to us. So go ahead and put a 17 foot whip on here with 3 8 by 24. Uh, you will be at 20 meters with this fully collapsed and then you can start to extend it and get yourself on down to 40 meters. And um, this is a good coil for 40 meters. I have used it many times. Collapse it, you've got 20, and then if you start collapsing sections of your SS17, then of course you can get on all the higher bands as well. So now we have a complete kit. Every adapter we could possibly need for whatever collection and country of origin gear that we have. Of course, I have my favorite country of origin in my gear. Um, of the three, I've got them ranked. And, uh, but that doesn't mean I don't have all of it so that I can share with you the way that you can mix, match, adapt, and use what you have in your shack. Hope you found this useful. Talk to you soon, friends. 73.